Oh, that's funny. Good morning, party people. You might have seen other reactors all do this thumbnail. When I just put a bunch of them up there, for oh. examples. But yeah, it's essentially that. It's just a giant head being like this. If you've ever seen our thumbnails, uh, we're idiots. We don't <laughs> play into the algorithm. We don't do what makes sense to get us views. We think, honestly, I'll put how, in... How stupid can we be? What yeah. is the worst thing that we can do? Every time we finish a video, we're like... Yeah. What, can okay. we for this one? What, what was that one called? <laughs> what if you had a scorpion coming out of your ears and then I had a little butterfly tail? Or in the one that just came up the side here on the YouTube thing of me, Bob, uh, Nathan was riding a tank and my head was the top of a tank with a giant cannon coming out of it. And that just makes perfect sense. We're not even going to tell what video it was because no point. No, you got to go find it. Today, we are checking out the brand new track from The Funeral Portrait featuring Spencer Charnas of Ice Nine Kills. Suffocate City. Should have done that at the start, yeah. but yeah. yeah. But then we would have had to put, you could have put a city around me. Oh, I can't be bothered to edit that. To yeah, okay. So I'm glad you didn't do that. Mm. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the funeral portrait, you may be familiar with Spencer. Spencer of Ice Nine Kills. Uh, crazy talented frontman. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for this. Yeah, I've never listened to the funeral portrait as far as I can tell. And how far can you tell? <laughs> See that, that bit right over there? About that far. Uh, uh, yeah, but look, we love Ice Nine Kills. We love Spencer, uh, a horror connoisseur of sorts as well. So I'm always interested to see what his features are like in other I believe this is a bit of a horror-inspired film clip. Oh, yeah, okay. Or hey, I'm into that. I made that up. Okay. We've got one or two I'm options I'm not into here. that. So <laughs> who knows? Only one way to find out. It's also on Better Noise Music, so we're happy to check this one out. Because um, we get to say this once we start. Better Noise Music. Oh, it has, you haven't pressed play. No, I didn't know if you have headphones on, because normally you sit there holding them for four or five minutes while I'm talking. Oh, did so. you see we got another comment about the when the reaction starts? You know what? Let's have a conversation first. <laughs> Better Noise Music. Bringing the riffs to you. It's got some horror vibes already, doesn't it? What? Ah. Alright folks, put your hands together for your king and queen. Yeah, yeah. And keep those hands together for your entertainment tonight. The funeral portrait. Keep those hands together is a terrible applaud. <laughs> sounds like yeah i've had that ever since i first heard them and i've never got the answer i'm trying to work out who the band sounds like as well like not sounds like but reminds me of okay. um it's cool though so far yeah it's it's riffy his it's... vocals to me are just so th so powerful and theatrical but i cannot put my mm. finger on who they remind me of and maybe there's elements of different people and that's why if you can help me out in the comments if you have the answer to my question that'd be great <laughs> Get in his brain, bro. I'm so sorry to do it. Is it Davey Havoc from AFI? Yep, that is exactly it. Fuck yeah, man! Woo! Yeah, it's the that deeper yeah. bit. Bit of vibrato. Yeah. And then the way he soars. Yeah, that's exactly it. Fuck yeah! Well done, we should be friends. But we're not. <laughs> Just settle down and never getting out of this place. That's good. Welcome to Suffocate City. We're never getting out, never getting out of here. We say just settle down, you're never getting out of here. Gives me like my chem vibes. I'm in there. I'm fucking, I'm pausing it again. <laughs> That's who I thought so many times. Yeah. Is there's also a bit of like a Gerard Way esque to it. Yeah. But that's not who I was thinking of. But it's you got are that right punk on there. Rock. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. I'm having fun, people. It's good. Time. Oh, it's
But even that, that, that yeah. was, yeah. Even the music video, the aesthetics and everything. That's cool, man. That's really cool. I like that. It, it does have all those elements of yeah. early 2000s emo, a bit more the theatrical rock elements of it. Yeah, it's got that kind of... Uh, there's like an almost... Bands like Creeper and My Chem uh, had that almost... It's like a really slight nod to rockabilly in their, in yeah. their style as well, where it's never too over the top, you know, but... I feel it, like it's the first time I ever heard the funeral portrait. They were actually it was covering my cam. And now I want to look okay. if I made that up. Because I feel that's where I first heard them. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was super catchy. The chorus was great. That chord progression, I feel like that style of punk rock, um, rock and roll mix, it is just so easy to digest. And it, it's that chorus was such an earworm. And it was, I think it, it covered it's, Helena. Oh, that is where I first heard them. There's I, like a. I really want to go listen to that. It, it's off. I'll take for you those of you who want to check it out. The it's an album called Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge and Encore. It's all bands mm. in the scene covering songs off Man, Three Cheers. How much shit like this is out there that we just would have never seen? It's also and just missed. Early days of me finding Point Point North because that it goes to Wow. Good. Okay. Definitely check it out. Cool. Um, yeah, that's okay, Brad. I'm I'm glad that that just clicked for me. They've been like, I have heard them through my cam vibes, and that's why yeah. I covered them. Uh, super cool film clip too. Really fun, entertaining. Yeah, I think they'd be a great band to watch. He seems like a really charismatic, charismatic energetic yep. frontman for sure. Also, the, like the bass is holding a guitar in his mouth in between these. Yeah. Like it just they looked like a lot of fun. It's it's one of those things as well. I feel like especially in in the more like rock and roll side, or I guess. I guess emo as well. Those sort of cliche, I guess you could say almost cheesy um, stage antics and moves and things. If it's not done right, it can come off as a little bit too try hardy. Sure. But when a band gets it right, when they've got the image down, like the aesthetic, um, when the performance is believable, and when they're fully committed to to this stuff in the way that Funeral Portrait are, it comes off really well. And it, it does be like, it makes you like, I want to watch that. I want to watch them live. Yeah. Yeah, I think they they look like they'd have a really good dynamic with each other on stage, um, but also watching them, I, I really enjoy watching bands where the other members in the band you can tell that they they know the songs and they love the songs because they're singing along, they're pulling faces. It's just all those little things that um, that makes it a little bit more sort of engaging. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Spencer's feature in that 
was an interesting one for me because he actually wasn't the standout. Often when you get a, a, a featured guest come on, that becomes like the focal point of a song. Whereas yeah. I think he just fit the song really well yeah. without taking over and being the Spencer show. And not because of like an ego thing. I didn't expect him to, but he has such a powerful voice. For sure. You could be like at threat of, of kind of getting all the attention taken away. But I feel like he really just contributed nicely, added an interesting element, brought it back in with like the jewel bit later on. Yeah, it yeah. Was done well. Well, I think that that, yeah, like you've got to give massive props to Funeral Portrait on that one as well because they haven't said, righto, you're Spencer from Ice Nine Kills. We want to get you to do our heavy bit in our heavy song, you know? Yep. And I don't know how much heavy stuff they have in their other their other shit but i thought that was really cool to to let spencer sort of play on just the melodic side and just yeah like you said fit into the song really well um i liked how they used him in the music video as well yeah me too that's cool if that's your first time checking out the funeral portrait does that make you inclined to go check out more of them drop a comment let us know what your thoughts will you be checking out more of them 100 percent. yeah that that's because my chem came back but they didn't really come back and there's a little bit of a void in my life that yeah. needs some some good solid. What happened with them? I don't I don't know, man. They came back with that We've one had song on the channel. We're just not allowed to ask him. <laughs> Oi, what's happening, Frank? <laughs> they came back with that one big song, and it was great. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen them a few times since then. And they're they're headlining when we were young fest this year as well. Okay. Maybe after that, when they stop playing so many damn shows, they might record some more music. I would enjoy that very much. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, just go like that, and I'll just put, like, a plastic bag on my head. <laughs> Suffocate. Sure. Or just hold a pillow, and I'll just be like, that's better. And that's be in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that in. See, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs>